Hello everyone, we are here today with Jim Wilkinson, who is a Director of User Experience here at SolidWorks. First off, what does that mean? What does a Director of User Experience do? Um, well, I manage a few different groups here at SolidWorks. Uh, one is the design group, where we design the user experience, design the user interface of the software, and make it as easy to use as possible. And I'm also in charge of the documentation and localization group, so documentation writes all the technical documentation on how the functionality works and localization translates the documentation and the software into 13 other languages than English. You've been here a while. Yeah, just over uh, 13 years. We'll be, by the time SolidWorks World comes around, it'll be 14, over 14 years. So what did you do before you came here? Um, went to college? Went to yeah, college and graduate school. I actually taught CAD, uh, Computer Vision 4X. Uh, and Ares software in graduate school, and uh, I worked for Ares technology for two and a half years uh, before coming to SolidWorks, which is a pre- and post-processing uh, solid modeling system, which is now gone. <laughs> so when you guys are thinking about making uh, new enhancements or, or, or doing new things in the software, how do you, how do you start that process? Uh, well, it starts a long time before a release goes out, but a lot of interviews with users, customer visits, um, a lot of prioritization of enhancements that come in. So we, we take all the different data that we're getting from visiting customers and, and through requests on the web and uh, you know, go through a prioritization process over the years uh, to make sure we're tackling things that are most important to our users. So you guys do a lot of research at SolidWorks World every year. Yes, definitely. Um, both the product definition groups and our user experience teams uh, do a lot of testing. Uh, last year, especially with, uh, with our new uh, manager of the design team, Tom Spine, he really set up a nice usability testing uh, week at SolidWorks World, so we're going to be doing that again this year. Uh, the product definition team does more testing on the weekends, but we do a lot of uh, you know, feedback from users and, and just general, besides the, the canned testing, we also go around, you know, I spend most of my time just talking to users to find out what's on their minds, more casual. So you've been here 13 years. I'm, I'm guessing you've probably been to uh, SolidWorks World a couple of times before. I think I've been to every single one. So how's it changed since you first started going? Um, it's like a big rock show now. It's uh, no, it's huge. Uh, there's a lot of people. The first one uh, we went to was only resellers, and there were probably about four partners there. Uh, and then the next year was the first year it had customers, and it was very small. Um, but you know, now it's very large, but it's still intimate. And you get to you, know, you get to talk to all the users, just like we've always been able to do, and and the users get to meet with people from SolidWorks directly, uh, which is one of the great things about SolidWorks World. So, apart from our fabulous user base and talking to them, what's your favorite thing year over year? Hmm, favorite thing at SolidWorks World. Um, I guess I, I really like the main sessions. Uh, they're great, and I love going out on all the different kinds of social things that happen. So the, the big event on, is it Tuesday night or Monday night? I forget which night Tuesday. it's. Tuesday. Tuesday night, sorry. So uh, the big event's fun because you get to you know, meet with users in a more casual atmosphere, and, and you know, the casual gatherings are always good. And you know, make sure you make time to meet up with other users that you might have met over the internet, set up some time with them, get on Twitter so you know where everyone's hanging out uh, during the thing. And, great time to get together with people you only know through the internet. So if anybody were to try to find you in Anaheim, where would they look? Maybe a tweet up? Uh, definitely will be there, yes. I'll probably be in the usability testing lab quite a bit of the time and uh, wandering around the parking pavilion. You'll, you'll see me all over the place. All right, and one last question. Um, what advice would you give for anybody who's coming for maybe the first time uh, or who's maybe only been once or twice and and uh, you know, hasn't really gotten the full experience yet. Um, make sure you go to everything. Don't spend time in your room or going back to your your uh, you know room and doing work. Uh, you know, this is the only opportunity you, you paid to be there, and it's a great opportunity. Spend your time going to all the sessions that you can. I would definitely do some planning. You know, go through and check off uh, you know the schedule and see what you want to attend. Uh, so you make sure you. You have those lined up. Uh, things fill up quickly, so you want to be able to get there and get into the sessions as quick as you can. But make sure you take advantage of everything. Go to the Partner Pavilion when it's open. Uh, you know, pre-set up some meetings with individuals from SolidWorks and individuals that you might have you know met through the user forums and other places. So, Jim Wilkinson, thank you for taking the time to talk today, and uh, we'll see you in Anaheim. Sure.
Thanks. Bye. See ya.